hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i hope you are doing good so today i'm going to show you view router so in this video i'll be showing you how you can install view router then how you can create routes in your project and after that how you can include these routes and like home about pages there so all these routes how you can create and use in your project so now let's get started with today's video. So in my previous video, I've shown you how you can install view into Laravel. So that's where I left. So I'll be starting from there only. So here you can see example component was loaded. So let me show you documentation for view router. You can also go to installation and check. So I'm just uh, showing you getting started. You can have a look at the steps. So, so now let's go and show you in practical. So I'll be starting with the view router installation. So write command npm install view dash router. Now let's run the command. And there is one error it says so it's not able to install. So let me just ping our registry npm.org. It's so working fine. So it's working fine. So now we need to add our registry to our project. So write npm config set registry and pass that URL registry.npmjs.org. Now run again same command npm install view router. So now again it started and now you can see it's installed. In dependencies also you can see view router is there. So now in welcome.blade.php, I'm going to change this example component to app component. I'll be creating this file, app file. So right now I'm just changing app component. So this will you can consider as a, you know, when you load your website, there is one index file that will be, you know, first hit. So you can consider it as that of Vue.js. So firstly, I'll be hitting this app.view. So create inside JS folder app.view. Now let me rename it to a, a capital app.js and inside that now let's create one template. Now inside template let's create one dev and inside dev let's write app hello. After that script and then style. So that's the basic format of your Vue.js file. Firstly template then script then style. Oh. So we have created this component now we need to tell our app that this one is first component that you need to load so for that now let's go to app.js and in create app we will be using component option and in that we will be defining this app component so now let's uh, import this app component and now we will be defining this app component inside create app component now let's check in browser and you can see app hello is printed now our app component is used for loading so now let's start by creating our roots so now let's create one more folder inside js that is router and inside that one more file index.js so here we will be defining all our roots so for creating router firstly we need to import create router from view router and then create web history also this one is for uh, history of your roots. Now after that, create one constant and give name, let's say roots. And inside that it will be one array type and inside that object. So that will be having name, path and which component you are using for that root. Like basically where that root will go to which component. So firstly write path that is base URL just slash component and second path i'm going to define let's say about and also second component so now let's import our component here so import example component then pass this example component into first root after that now let's go and uh, import our about component and now pass that into about root so now our roots are created now let's go and create our router and hold that in a variable so write const or router and equals to create router we will be using and inside that we will be passing our create um, web history so this one is just for history of your roots and as second parameter will be your all root list after that let's export it export default router so now we have a root list 
so now we need to tell our view app that we have all these routes so for that we need to import this file into our app.js so import router you can say from router and pass file name also that is index and after that write app dot use and inside that pass that router so now we need to load these uh, routes in our view so we will be using router view this will display the component that corresponds to the url now let's go and check in browser right about so you can see 404 not found as one more last thing we need to do is we need to change your in our web.php basically routes there web.php you can see we are having our base url that returning welcome page so here we need to allow all the routes because now we are handling our routes from view side so here in laravel it's restricting these uh, routes so we need to allow that any route will be coming so for that we will be applying any and with the where condition we need to, to apply where firstly will be any that we are defining in our root get one and with that dot star that is value of any if you know that in uh, roots star means wildcard that allow all roots so now let's go and check in browser or refresh so you can see it's having sample component now let's go to about root and now you can see about component is loaded so right now as i have defined two roots only you can define uh, your website roots or your project roots whatever it's having so that's how you can install view router into your project so that's all in this video in my next video i'll be showing you input bounding in view so after that we will move forward with form and uh, how to submit a form so in my next video i'll just show you how you can create inputs in view so i hope you like this video if you have doubt uh, related to this topic then you can comment down in the comment section thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe to my channel